Hello people and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna talk a little bit about why guitarists choose Open D. Why do they choose Open D? Just listen to this. Why not? <laughs> you know, it's a great tuning. The lovely tuning on this lovely guitar is D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. So why is this tuning so popular amongst guitarists? You can do really nice stuff on it. So if you, if you have a song in, let's say, D, you can use all the open chords, so the diatonic chords in the scale. So you have your one, and then you have your two here, minor, and then you can just, it's, it's two shapes you need to, to be aware of. So you have the minor shape looks like this. Then you can move it up, minor again, three minor. But it's more like a th third in the bass type of sound. And then you have the four chord. And that's major. And the major looks like this. Major again. Minor. Minor or if you, I think it's like the third in the bass here as well. Yeah, it's, it's that type of sound. And then back to the one. So the whole thing looks like this if you want to play all the chords. Looks like this. Open. sound mwah, really nice <laughs> so then you can just improvise in this if, if you w want to like if you searching for the inspiration for a new song just uh, play something like this maybe so the, the possibilities are endless and what I did there you can have like the D in the bass like this it's just two you just hold on these two and you can move them around so it's like a pedal uh, pedal bass you can say and it sounds nice when you finger pick as well Like something like this, maybe. As I said, the possibilities are endless and one other thing why guitarists like this tuning is that you can play blues. Many people choose the slide for this. I'm going to show you two examples. So this one example is just uh, blues without the slide. You can do like this. Sounds something like that, like I showed you before. Uh, so this one, I showed you this before. It's the same, and you can do like the, the blues, the, the one. You can. If you just want to use the two top strings, you can do that. The two bottom strings, I mean. <laughs> so it's really easy.
And you can do that on this as well. It's more of a traditional sound, you can say. But if you want the whole chord, you can play it like this. And I'm just playing some shuffle. It, it looks like this, slow. And then when you move up here on the fifth fret, you can bar. Then you have a bar chord here. Looks like that. You can do like this. It's the same like here, but you bar instead of this barring, <laughs> you bow with your finger, and the same style applies. And you can do it. Or. That's a bit harder. And same if you go on the 7th fret. That's just, you know, the basic blues turnaround, so it looks like this. So you have your 1, 3 and 5 here. No, 1, 4 and 5, sorry. <laughs> so that's real nice. And if you want to use the slide, it's a great tuning for slide as well. Maybe I, I need to change guitars. This has two, um, two uh, low string heights. So I just touch the frets all the time. So something like this. So I'm not a slide master, <laughs> as you can hear, but I, I know some licks, you know, this one. That's a great lick, you know, it's just on the B string on the 12th fret, and then you go one half below. Then you go back on the 12th fret on the G and the D string. Something like that, uh, that's pretty cool. So uh, many shoes to, you can, you know, just elaborate, just uh, come up with stuff, you try the slide. Same thing here, one, four, five. That is cool one, just three and two. I find it pretty hard to play slide, but you, you get the idea. <laughs> so you can do a lot of different stuff with the D, open D tuning. And it's the same with open C and everything like that. It's it's the same. If you hear, hear snoring, it's my dog in the background, so <laughs> it's not my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. I hope you have learned something today and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.